What's going on YouTube? Jelani from JelaniTheMarketer.com back again with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can send a broadcast with Opesta. Now, excuse my appearance, I'm about to go to the gyms but I just wanted to make this quick video because I know a lot of people are just getting on Opesta so they might not know how to send out a broadcast. So if you haven't gotten Opesta, click the link below because they are doing a cool bonus for people who sign up early. Opesta launches officially uh, March 12th. So for the people who sign up early, they're going to give people special bonuses. So definitely sign up by clicking the link below. And if you haven't watched the video where I give a Opesto overview, definitely watch that video because I kind of show you where everything is and how to get started. Uh, there should be a link above. But when you sign up for Opesto, you're going to see this broadcast uh, tab here. You want to click on that. And to send a new broadcast, all you have to do is click create new broadcast. So it's going to give you the option to create the message. And typically when I create my messages, I create delays above the, me the message. So um, in this box, you can say something like, hey, and if you hit this brackets right here, you can say, hey, first name. Um, and then you just write your message. So I can say, hey, first name, what's up? Um, just wanted to check in with you. Hope you have a great day, right? And then if we hit this little emoji thing, we can uh, have an emoji as well. So we can put a little smiley face. Um, and if you wanted to add other, you know, messages or images or videos, you just select the one here. So if I wanted to have a delay after this message, um, I can have a text here and just say, stay tuned for more awesome videos, right? And then if you want to add a button, you can. So if you want to say like, check my YouTube, you can do that and you can open up the website and then I could put my YouTube link here. I can also add actions, which is very similar to ManyChat, add attack, subscribe to sequences, which are pretty much the two of the most powerful ones that you're gonna be using. Um, so if I click finish, it's gonna give me the red sign because I don't have my YouTube channel link. So we're just gonna delete this button for now. We can also add a quick replies. Um, we can also add user inputs, images, like I said, videos, files, um, but we just wanna have a simple message once you're done with the message, you can either preview it or you can click go to next. If you go to next, it's going to bring us to the settings tab right here. And then we can choose the message type. So we can choose if it's going to be a subscription broadcast, promotional broadcast, or follow up broadcast. Now, if you are sending out broadcasts, you have to keep in mind that Facebook has a policy where you can't send a message after 24 hour interactive period. So you can't interact with someone and then a week later try to send them a coupon for something because that is against Facebook's terms of service and they will shut your bot down. So you wanna make sure that you keep those terms of service when you're uh, promoting your different promotional broadcasts. And it gives you a little memo here as well, just in case if you forget. So you can also add targeting conditions. So if you wanted to um, send this message based on people who are tagged a specific tag or gender or sequence subscription, you can do that. You can also change the match type. So you can match all of these conditions or any of these conditions. Um, and you can also schedule your broadcast. So if you click schedule, you can say, I want this to go tomorrow at 12.04 p.m. Click apply and it will apply. And then I can just click schedule message to schedule the message. Now, if we come here, you're probably saying, well, Joel, where's my schedule message? It's not gonna be under draft. So you wanna make sure that you click scheduled and then boom, it will be there for 12.04 tomorrow. Um, you can also, cancel the schedule, copy the broadcast, or rename the broadcast. Um, and then you can also check out your history here. But that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple to set up a broadcast in Opesta. It's very straightforward. Um, and they make it easy for you to just quickly set up your broadcast, send it out. You don't really have to do a lot of different steps, um, which I like a lot. So if you haven't got Opesta yet, definitely click the link below <laughs> because like I said, they're going to be giving some promotional deals to people who sign up early. Like I said, March 12th is the official release date. So you're going to make sure you get in early uh, by clicking the link below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions for future videos, leave a comment below, but make sure you are commenting because you never know when I'm going to be giving a giveaway because I am going to be doing those soon. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe because I have really cool things coming in the future, some interviews, some tutorials, and other things like that. So uh, I look forward to um, having you guys watch the, the new videos coming. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.